audio. If you haven't heard it today, let me be the first person to tell you that I love you so very much. Hey girl. Hello my beautiful Sagittarius, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly you versus them reading Sagittarius. I also do your weekly general reading for your zodiac sign Sagi, which I'll leave a link to over here for you to check out at a later point if you'd like. But when it comes to any of my reading Sagi, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective Sagittarius, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards up, resonate, and leave what doesn't because I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. If you find some cards that resonate with you, then uh, be sure to let me know in the comments below which card called out to you the most because that's how I keep up with y'all is through uh, the comments. And then also if you find a card that resonates, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, Sagittarius, because um, it does help out my channel a lot and I always am super appreciative. You guys take the time to do that for me. And then finally, this reading's here just to give you some perspective, Saji. I'm not here to make a decision in your life. I'm just here to provide, to provide some food for thought for you as you go throughout your week. Uh, but yeah, with all that being said, Saji, let's start getting into your reading now with the animal oracle cards. <clears throat> we have three of them for you, actually. Uh, we have the owl spirit, number, number 43, so seven for numerology. Write that down to look up later, Saji. Uh, but this one is, this card says you see clearly now. Uh, Sagittarius, so definitely a week of where if you've been in like this feeling as if perhaps you've been in like limbo or you are you are unsure about maybe how this other person feels or where this connection is going with this person, I do feel like things are going to pan out this week where things are starting going to start to click. Things are finally just going to start making sense as to like perhaps why you've been experiencing certain things with them or why you, this connection even existed in the first place. And then the other two extra cards that we have for you is the Rattlesnake card. This card says the experiences that you're presently going through are an initiation to fulfilling your purpose as a healer. I'm sorry, Sagittarius. I like just had like a little bit of a lunch break before I came back to do more readings. But um, this card, I would associate more so with Sagi. Like it says like the initiation for a healer, right? But you have to put it in perspective, right? It's just some oracle cards. So you can't just, there's not a card for every specific situation. But I would take this more so as Sagittarius as a, um, you know, it says fulfilling your purpose as a healer, but more so just lets you know that you're going through like a spiritual lesson this week. So maybe like with this person, there's like, maybe, I don't know if there's like a conflict or something just up in the air. Maybe you feel like you were caught off guard with something, what have you. There's a reason for it. And then we have the weasel card coming in where it says, be silent, pay attention, and simply observe with your eyes, ears, and physical feelings what is happening inside and all around you. So start paying attention. This definitely seems to be a uh, just a straight up spread in and of itself, Sagittarius, of where it's like, pay attention to the omens this week because it definitely seems to be spirits leaving some signs. So what do I mean by omens? It would be more so like things that would like, I always call them like breadcrumbs, Sagi, or like uh, puzzle pieces where like things start just like clicking, like you find out this piece of information and everything else just starts making sense. Um, or like those little positive omens of where, you know, maybe you associate ladybugs with like your grandmother, Sagittarius, maybe perhaps like, um, when it comes to this person, like, you know, like just look for those types of signs because the, like with the owl spirit, maybe you need to start seeing those signs clearly. And that's going to assist you in seeing it clearly of, um, the spiritual path that you are on. So it will, will take away the question, um, that you might be feeling when it comes to the situation ship, right? But let's start getting into the tarot side of things now, Sagittarius. I'm going to start pulling a card with a card for you, Saji, a card for them, and a card for the energy between y'all's relationship. And then we'll pull clarifiers um, and continue on with this reading, right? Uh, starting out, mm, these cards are being a little bit difficult. Hold on. <laughs> Let's see, Saji. <clears throat> we have on your side of things the Eight of Earth. So the Eight of Earth is the Eight of Pentacles in normal tarot. And this is a card of learning, um, which I kind of feel like we got this impression already with the animal cards, don't you think, Sagittarius? Because I would associate like the rattlesnake card 
as like a way of just like you're on your spiritual path you're here to uh learn something well obviously we're here to learn something I'm not saying much substance there but it's like it's this this week you're here you're going to be just be learning something this week when it comes to this connection i just feel like whatever you get insight on whatever you learn it helps you to see clearly when it comes to the situation and perhaps like it affects other aspects of your life as well just because it seems to just be a common theme of where you're really just learning and seeing things clearly and things just start making sense i don't know if it like it's almost like a little bit of like an awakening process on their side of things sagittarius interestingly enough they are the nine of earth now this card is saying enjoying life's little luxuries spending quiet time alone and successful self-employment i don't think i've ever read your card saggy let me do that for your eight of earth this card says skilled work is rewarded learning all that there is to know about a subject and going back to school now this is just like the representation just learning right uh, nine of earth for them this is more so letting me know like with this energy saggy they're more so focused on like i mean if they are self-employed like more so just focused on like their business more so focused on like their money but also we would take this if we we're going to associate this with like a personality trait saggy uh this more so just seems to be someone selfish absolutely isn't the word for it but i would say kind of like this person doesn't have a problem putting themselves first Sagittarius it's like they have their priorities right but you know when it comes to like a especially let's say like a romantic relationship or any type of re uh, relationship really when you're so used to putting yourself first and only relying on yourself when there comes to handling different connections with people um sometimes you have to put yourself like not well you keep yourself first but you have to get used to putting like other people on that same level so it's kind of like an adjustment period for them it's not like it's not that they don't care saggy it's just perhaps they're just such an independent energy and this is just a new uh way of maneuvering for them when it comes to relationships and when i say relationships saggy it could be platonic or romantic now for the wow <laughs> for the energy between y'all two very grounded energy uh king of earth or the king of pentacles the successful time confidently accept the opportunities you're offered the midas touch now when i see all these pentacle or these earth cards sagittarius i can't help but feel like for some of you guys there there seems to be like a definite push in terms of financial stuff career projects collaborative things this seems to be like a general theme with these cards so i wouldn't be surprised if many of you sagittarius are thinking about like a potential business partner um when you came into this reading or someone that you would like to work with that has like a similar interest in some type of way but now saggy let's start pulling some clarifiers we're going to start with your side of things with this eight of earth or the eight of pentacles um, and see what uh, what Tara has. We have the Queen of Cups coming in for you. So this is definitely like what, you know, the Eight of Earth talks about higher knowledge. What are you having, getting more knowledge on in regards to your emotions? Figuring out what it is that you actually care about, what you don't care about. Perhaps figuring out like what you actually want to give your heart out to. And maybe even just figuring out like and experiencing like deep like more depthful emotions a deeper experience of love the chariot card comes out as well it almost is if sagittarius like i'm getting like this impression it's like you kind of just learn what it is that you want you learn um or you realize um it's like through realizing like the spiritual lessons that's like that maybe even this person is involved in in some type of way obviously they don't know about it right it's just spirit works through other people sometimes right Sagi? so it's just like they came in and like it's through the experiences that you have with this person that causes you to realize like things start coming together being like oh i need to work on this with myself or whatever 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 whatever, whatever. it just whatever happens it puts you in this place of where you just start having a clearer idea of what it is that you want out of life and it's because of that you start having the chariot energy coming in fast forward movement you're going once you identify it you start going towards it naturally though right i feel like that makes sense for a sagittarius uh page of wands comes in so you what are you going towards you're going towards this wands beginning this new energy this new passion um this definitely feels like a new um approach when it comes to this connection perhaps it's just like once you realize things then it's just like oh, okay this is how i need to communicate with my 
person here, right? Uh, but I definitely just see this as like three of pentacles. Collab this is the collaborative energy. I do see you guys, Sagittarius, working things out, um, truly. But I do see on your side, it's ultimately in order for this page of wands to come into fruition, right? Page of wands, pages represents new beginnings. Wands talks about just forward, passionate movement. Um, I feel like the only way that you can get to this, the only way for this chariot energy to show up for you, Sagittarius, is through this Eight of Earth, Queen of Cups energy, where you learn, get more in touch with your emotions, and re just more so just realizing what you want, right? All It's just like learning about just the matters of the heart, essentially, right? I feel like that's what the part that you need to do when it comes to this connection to have like that collaborative energy that you want. Now, let's look on their side of things with this Nine of Earth on their side, Sagittarius. See what's up with them. What are their intentions? What are their feelings towards you, Sagittarius? Mm -hmm. All right, back of the deck, energy, five of swords. So they are in their head about this connection, Sagittarius. I can't help but feel like there is like this underlying tone of anxiety. I don't feel like you guys, I'm going to be honest, I don't know if you guys are really communicating or not. It doesn't feel like it. Um, it's almost like you guys are giving each other the silent treatment. But I don't know why. Uh, but yeah, five of swords, back of the deck energy for them. They are in their head about this connection for some reason. Um, so even while, even if they are about their business, if they're like a business person or just focused on their work, Sagittarius, like, they are in their, they are thinking about this. They're in their, their feelings about this, Four of Swords. This is someone, I am getting like the impression, like, Sachi, it does feel like on their side of things, like, they're using like work as like a distraction perhaps, but it's like, when you have like this Four of Swords, I don't know if like, this is kind of like an energy where they might like how do I put this? It's like, perhaps they just don't know what to do with you. <laughs> That's the only way I can really put it. It's like, they don't know how to, what to do with you or how to like handle this connection with you. Um, they do have the Knight of Cups and the Ace of Wands though. So there is forward movement towards you, um, which is interesting. I see this as a person where it's just like, because it's, I say it's interesting just because it's like they're in their head and they're like really kind of in like this hermit energy, right? And just like, just extremely in their head. But then they have the Knight of Cups and the Ace of Wands where it's like they want to go forward. And I kind of do see forward movement in this. So I'm just like, what's going on here? Like, I don't know if this is like foreshadowing like later down the road or like once they like come to terms like with whatever it is that they're in their head about maybe they're just like in their feelings and once they get out of their feelings Sagittarius that's when they will come towards you or perhaps you know they meet you halfway yeah okay it's almost like they meet you halfway I'm <laughs> I just can't I keep on thinking about that Black Eyed Peas song now meet me halfway but yeah Ten of Swords came out they definitely need to go through like they're using work as like a distraction they're going through some type of pain whether it's related to you or not you would know if it's related to you but if you haven't done anything to like bring pain to them Saji it does seem to be like they're just going through their thing and they're just using work as a coping mechanism so um perhaps right now um, you might not experience forward movement, but I do see, like, if you were to engage with your chariot energy, once you get into your chariot energy, they also will match you with this Ace of Wands being that forward movement, Knight of Cups bringing forward their cup to you, uh, or in this case, bringing forward a bouquet of roses, right? So really good energy for that. Definitely feels like there's going to be, like, a need for a little bit of healing from their side of things, and for your side of things, healing of the self. Right? Just getting more in touch with your emotions before you go to them. But I do feel like in the long haul, things are going to make sense for you. Um, things are going to work out for this connection. Clarifiers that came out for you guys. We have the Six of Swords as the back of the deck energy, so don't run away from this, Sagittarius. I know I say I'm not here to make a decision in your life, but there it does seem to be such a heavy push for not like running away when this comes to this connection, because it seems to be a good one, right? Seven of Cups, where it shows to me, where it's like, someone's like, um, like, 
feels like you guys are like trying to consider other options right now because it's like for them for example Sachi they're just in their head and they're just like ah right and so maybe like they might consider other options if they see if they don't see any type of action from your side of things Saji right and you may not you would want to go forward into this chariot energy and collaborate with them until you um figure out like go go inward a little bit so it's interesting I wonder what's going to what you guys this seems to be a pretty complex situation even just looking at tarot i'm kind of overwhelmed like of like the complexity of this dynamic sagging <clears throat> definitely let me know what this like the dynamic of y'all because i'm really curious uh three of cups though celebration this is it's a celebration card um it does like i don't know i feel i do just feel so strongly saji that it's just like y'all would really like complement each other well when it comes to like business and then it's through like the success of like maybe business or the success of yeah i just see like the success of like projects and businesses is what brings you guys closer together but ultimately relies on action being taken right you can't continue like looking at other options you kind of have to be fully committed to this connection right you have to fully decide that it's like you that's this is what you want um, that you're in it for the long call and there's no backing out once you commit to it, right? Because the chariot is pretty committed energy, right? Uh, Knight of Cups, Ace of Wands is pretty committed energy, but we have to get into those points, right? We This is the intent of like where the energy could go, but both sides have to be willing to get to that point, right? I can tell you what you would get to if you get to from, go from point A to point B, but I can't make you go from point A to point B, right? But that's the reading that I have for you, Sagittarius. If you enjoyed this, be sure to let me know in the comments below which card resonated, and also be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, and then share my videos with a friend if you think they may be into my videos. But until next time, Sagittarius, I love you so much. Bye.